Knee arthritis x-rays will never look the same to you after this. See, there's two ways of looking at x-rays when it comes to knee arthritis. One is problem-focused x-rays. What I mean by that is check out this x-ray right here. You're looking at a knee arthritis bone-on-bone x-ray. There's three main things that come out. You're going to see decreased space in the joint between the thigh bone and the knee bone. That's one thing that you'll find. The second most common thing you're gonna find is osteophytes. On the edges here, you'll see corners or pointy things that aren't typically visible on a normal knee because there's growths of bone coming out on the sides. And then you'll also see subchondral sclerosis, which is fancy words for on the x-ray, it looks whiter or brighter right on the edges of the bones. And that's because you're getting thickening of the bones in response to the arthritis happening. That's problem focused looking at x-rays to put it in simple terms. Healthcare professionals do this because that's their job. They're trained to see the differences between a arthritic knee, especially if it's bone on bone, versus a normal knee. And a normal knee will have these nice smooth edges around it, good space, you know, I have these models here. But then when you start getting an arthritic knee, here's early arthritis, you start getting rough edges around the corners right here versus the smooth ones. And by the time you get to severe end-stage arthritis, you have all these big gnarly edges around the sides. And when thinking about the treatments to do for an arthritic knee just like this, they're thinking of cutting it out. And that's why a joint replacement is often recommended. In an earlier stage like this, there might be some arthroscopic procedures that are not joint replacements that could help, depending on what your doctor has for you and what they recommend. But let's look at it differently. What if we unsmash the knee? Because if you have the idea of a muscle imbalance, which is what I look at all the time when it comes to knee arthritis, because that's the real cause. There's excessive pressure going through the knee causing the bones to be smashed up against each other. And over time, it's gonna look like this. The bones are adapting, they're getting thicker. That's why the sclerosis, that's why the decreased joint space because of the forces from the muscles pushing the joint together. And then the osteophytes develop in response to all the excessive forces from pushing the bones outwards to the sides, but also there's muscle attachments that might be yanking on the bones. When you fix the pressures in the joints, especially if it, you don't let it get this bad, if it's earlier on in your arthritis, then you have an excellent chance at recovering without having to have a surgery done. Then you can get back to doing active things, even very active things like exercising in the gym, jogging, using a bicycle regularly, playing with family, doing the things that you love to do, but you have to take pressure off the joints. And the way that we do that is by fixing the muscle imbalance. Now, this is something that surgeons don't typically talk about. People in the healthcare field usually aren't aware of this. This is a specialty that we talk about here all the time. If you have weakness in the back of the hip, it causes thigh muscles to be overused. And that excessive use of these muscles leads to increased pressure at the knee joint. So if we can take pressure off the knee joint by normally using the quads, the thigh muscles, and you have to have good strength in the hip to do that, then you can begin to solve the root problem of knee osteoarthritis. Hey, I wanna tell you about our knee arthritis recovery program. This program is specifically for people that have knee arthritis, whether you've been formally diagnosed, you've had an X-ray or an MRI, and the doctor told you that you have knee arthritis, or you suspect you have it, and it doesn't matter how severe it is if you've had it just mild, you know, grade one, some doctors will tell you, or if it's more on the severe end. If you have tried exercises and advice and tips that I've given you through our videos here, then chances are you are, have benefited from it because this stuff works. Chances are even better that you're going to get tremendous improvements if you join this program. And let me just tell you how it is real quick, how, how the program's set up. It's a membership program. Uh, there's different tiers of this. On the first tier, it's group coaching along with the whole curriculum of 40 plus. I think it's approaching 50 videos now showing you how to do it. So you can just go through the program, watch the videos and have massive improvements, but you also get access to group coaching where I'm on the call with you, me and my coaches, 
and you get to ask us questions so that you don't get stuck through this program. And then you also have the option to get our higher tier, which is one-to-one -one coaching with our recovery, co recovery coaches, but you still get the group coaching too. And of course you get the whole curriculum as part of that package. So go check out the link nearby here to learn more about the knee arthritis recovery program. And I hope to see you in the program on our coaching calls. Most people in healthcare don't even think that healing cartilage in your knee is possible, but it's completely possible. We help people do it all the time. Check out this video to get four essential tips to heal your cartilage if you have knee osteoarthritis.